Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bone Tech. In today's video, we are unboxing the brand new Canon Rebel T8i. I actually went ahead and pre-ordered this camera about five months ago when it was first announced, but unfortunately, the release date was pushed back because of the virus. Canon's Chinese suppliers production was actually limited because of this virus, so that's why I wasn't able to get my hands on this camera until now. So let's just go ahead and jump into the actual unboxing itself. As far as the packaging here on the sides, it's very minimalistic and nothing too crazy or anything important to point out. Let's just pop up the top and see what's inside. So the very first thing that we are going to see here is our Canon uh, warranty information. We'll put that over here to the side. And the next thing we can see here is our Canon user guide and manual. We'll put that over to the side. Next up, we have the Canon strap, and it's much smaller than a strap that you'd find in like a Canon 90D. It just says Canon. We'll put that over here to the side. And next, we have our Canon battery charger. So this is a LC E17 battery charger, and this is going to charge the battery for the Canon TAI. It has one of those little flip out functions, so you can plug it into a wall nice and easy. Let's put that over here to the side, and then we can see next we actually have the battery. And this T8i uses the exact same batteries as the T6i and the T7i. It uses the LPE17 batteries. Pop that to the side, and then we have a little plastic divider here. We'll lift that up, and then we can actually see the camera itself. That's the only thing that's left in our box we have the actual body of the Canon T8i. And here we can see it looks pretty nice. So the build quality of this is very similar to the Canon 80D. We have these raised modes here on the mode dial and everything feels really nice and premium on this camera. Here for comparison, we have the Canon T7i. And here we can see that most of the settings and everything are very similar. There really isn't a huge difference in button placement. So if you're upgrading from the T7i, there isn't going to be a big learning curve with button placement with the Canon T8i. I think the biggest difference between the T7i and the brand new T8i is the fact that the brand new Canon T8i can film 4K video at 24 frames per second, and the Canon T7i was never able to film 4K video. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Canon T8i shares the exact same sensor as the Canon T7i. It has the exact same 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, which means it is a crop body. So the kit lens is actually going to be a Canon's 18 to 55 millimeter f4 to f5.6 lens. It's a very small and very versatile little zoom lens. And this lens comes with STM focusing, which is very nice and silent and smooth, which makes it great for video. It also has image stabilization built into it. Now this Canon T8i also works with EF lenses, but there will be a 1.6 times a crop factor associated with putting a EF lens on this camera body. This Canon T8i also has Wi-Fi and NFC. It also do pixel AF, but unfortunately when recording 4K video at 24 frames per second, we cannot use do pixel AF. This camera is going to use a phase detect system, which is considerably worse than do pixel AF. So for those of you really serious about taking high quality 4K video, you're probably going to want to stick to the Canon 90D. Instead, it's gonna cost you about $400 extra, but it records 4K video at 30 frames per second, and it does have dual pixel autofocus enabled when doing so. Let's go ahead and put the battery in and get a quick little first boot. So we can easily just put the battery in by opening up the camera battery door and then just popping it in this way. This camera does have a flip out touch tilt screen, which is very nice. You can tilt it at a ton of different angles. And again, this is also a touch screen, which makes it very nice and easy to use. And you know what? I actually did notice a big difference between this and the Canon T7i, and that is the fact that this actually has an aperture mode dial here. So we can actually change our aperture here. Let's put it in manual mode and we can actually change our aperture here using this little dial, and this is not found on the Canon T8i. And honestly, this is a huge improvement, especially for professional photographers. We absolutely love these aperture mode dials. Dial allows us to change the aperture nice and quickly here, opposed to the Canon T7i, where you have to hold down this AV button while moving the shutter speed dial. This is a huge improvement, and I really do like that a lot. Something that I really like about the T8 or T7i line is the fact that the SD card slot is in its proper location, here on the side of the camera where you can access it. Now, another difference that I noticed between the T8 and the T7i is the fact that the T8i actually has a manual flash. You actually have to physically lift it up where the Canon T7i actually has an automatic flash. For whatever reason, Canon seems like they're getting away from these uh, automatic flashes and they're going to a manual system. 
and I'm not really sure why, but they did change that system on the T8i. So that's about it for this quick unboxing of the brand new Canon T8i. We're gonna be doing a video test and a ton of other really cool videos with this camera. Of course, you're also going to be publishing my full review of this camera, so if you're interested in that, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those new videos to this YouTube channel. We're also probably going to do a full guide on the menu and how to set up your camera. So again, if you guys are interested in that, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those new videos. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.